This is the lock picking newbie. And uh, today is uh, going to start a short series um, that I think is uh, going to be really special. Um, a little while ago, I got an email from a subscriber, Jeff, who asked if he could send me some locks. These are the locks uh, because he wants to, he wants me to pick them and he wants to hear how I describe um, what I'm hearing and feeling uh, while I'm picking them. And this is extremely flattering to me. I'm, I'm very uh, humbled by that because um, I am a new picker, uh, but I do describe what, um, what I'm feeling. And the reason um, that he wants um, he wants to hear that is because he's having trouble single pin picking these locks himself. And then uh, to add um, another layer onto that, um, these are actually his grandfather's locks. So this will be um, a uh, short Grandpa's Locks series. And I will um, do my best to pick the locks and describe um, what I'm hearing and feeling along the way. So um, Jeff, thank you so much for um, trusting me with this. Um, what I have here uh, is a Yale. Um, Yale and town, no idea the model number. On the top, it says uh, high security pin tumbler. Uh, and I do not know the context of that. And maybe it's just high security in the sense that it's not a warded lock. And then we have this lock here, brass lock branded um, popular mechanics. Um, but today, uh, I'm going to address this lock. I cannot tell what the brand is without peeling the sticker off, which I'm not going to do. Um, the sticker says Crime Watch official member. So um, there you go. And it's got an eight or an infinity stamped into the bottom. So let's, um, let's see how this lock feels. Actually, I think I'm going to use this pick here. Uh, I'm using a top of the keyway tension bar in 50 thousandths, and it fits in here um, a little loose, actually. If I had one of those thicker bars, I'd use it. And, and then this is a uh, standard number one hook in um, 25 thousandths. Uh, so pretty open keyway, um, and let's let's get going. All right, so I'm on pin one, and it's binding. So I'm going to push on it, and it's pretty nice. Uh, just I'm, I have to modulate my tension to get it to go, um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more on the next lock, but. Um, it just went right down into a little click and, and now it's kind of springy down there. So let's just see what happens next. So number two feels like it's binding, easing tension so I can push through this, the friction and a click. And now it's kind of also kind of springy now once it's clicked. Doing the same thing with number three, it's binding. It hardly moved at all and it clicked. So I'm just gonna leave it where it's at. Back to four and it's springy. And then back to five and it's springy. So maybe we do need to hit three, but let's just feel them all. Ooh, now I just touched one and it moved a little more and then the core moved a little bit. I don't know if you saw it, but so that's interesting. So let's see how two feels, two feels okay. Now again, before I do anything with three, ah, now four is binding. See that tiny little movement on one made the difference on four and I got a nice click. Five is binding. Okay, that's a nice click. So we're going to keep going through here. Okay, so one has that slightly loose feel, but it's way down in the keyway. Two, let's see if I can get anything else out of two. Mm, not really. Three, ooh, something's way up in the keyway. Ooh, now look at that. A little bit of counter rotation, it felt like but I don't think that's a spool, so I'm going to take it back out. Four is high in the keyway again, so let's... And that, that really did feel like counter-rotation on four, and then it opened. So I think the key to this lock is... Um, mod modulate the tension so you can feel the pins as they move through the cylinder, and then they're... And then you, you can get a click and then just 
hold it right there. The, the, on, a, on a lot of these locks, um, you get that click, but if, if you had too much tension on, it flies right past the shear line and then you're in an overset. So the trick is having um, enough tension so you can feel the click, but not so much tension that once it clicks, it flies past. Um, and, then, and then be conscious of, of what the lock is telling you. Now, I have opened this lock before and it didn't really want to counter rotate before. So I don't know if that was really a spool. And in prior opens, I, I just got past the spool without really feeling the counter. But um, either way, there it is. Um, Modulate the tension, feel the pins moving in the, in the uh, chambers. Don't let it overshoot. And then if you, saw, if you notice, I kind of went back and forth. And at one point in the pick, it did drop a few pins. And so when I went back to them, that got them in the set. And then we finally got that, got the open. Okay, Jeff. Um, so that's uh, the crime watch lock. And we'll, um, next time, um, we'll go for the uh, popular mechanics lock. That's all I have for you today. This is the lock picking newbie. Have a good day.